My name is Sarah Taylor Griffin. I live in Bullard, Texas. I have been married for almost seven years, and I have a little boy named Easton who's almost two. He'll be two in September. I'm a registered nurse and a clinical nursing instructor for Tyler Junior College Vocational Nursing Education. I enjoy participating in church activities and traveling and enjoying time spent with my family. I'm looking forward to this class and developing my public speaking skills. My hometown is Jacksonville, Texas. It's about 30 miles south of Tyler. Originally, it was called Gum Creek in 1847. A man by the name of Jackson Smith was settled here and he was the postmaster and he formed a lot of other community uh, things that were going on in, in Jacksonville at the time. The name Jacksonville was chosen by the citizens um, after him. In 1872, the International Railroad did not quite come through Jacksonville so they decided to take Jacksonville and move it two miles east and that was what is now known as Jacksonville. And the uh, railroad now comes through Jacksonville. Jacksonville is known for its agriculture and it's the leading center of the peach production from the 1880s to 1914 and uh, tomatoes were the primary crop. And Jacksonville is known as the tomato capital of the world. Livestock was and still remains an important aspect of the economy. The first schools uh, were started in 1846. The first school that was started was actually um, only the second school that was in the county at the time. Uh, the first collegiate school was private and it was started in 1873. And in 1881, the first public school was started. Jacksonville College was started in 1899, and Lonmars College was started in 1854. Jacksonville College is uh, finally getting renovated. It's been in its original state for quite a while, and I know that because I took classes there. The Baptist Theological Seminary was started in 1957. The first newspaper was called the Texan Intelligence, and it was started in 1873, and then it was called the Cherokee Argonaut, in 1881 and it's now the Daily Progress which started in 1910 and it still um, is being published to this day. The population of Jacksonville in 1904 was reported as 1,568 residents and in the 2000s the population had grown to 13,868 residents. One of my favorite uh, historical sites would have to be the Kilo Monument. This is uh, a site that occurred in 1837. A uh, family by the name of Kilo were uh, living there, and they, uh, the Indians at the time decided that they would renegade. The renegades at that time would massacre um, the. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> My hometown is Jacksonville. Oh, not yet. My hometown is Jacksonville, Texas. I'll give you a little bit of history of Jacksonville. It was originally called Gum Creek in 1847. The, a man by the name of Jackson Smith was the operator of the Postal Service, and the name Jacksonville was chosen by the citizens in honor of him. In 1872, the International Railroad did not go through Jacksonville, so they decided to move Jacksonville two miles east uh, to the new side of the tracks so that Jacksonville would be able to get the carrier through the railroad. Early history of Jacksonville would have to be the agricultural and the land, and they were the leading center of peach production from the 1880s to 1914, and tomatoes were the primary crop until the 1950s, and Jacksonville still remains to be called tomato capital of the world. Livestock was and remains an important aspect of the economy. The first schools in eight, it were, were started in 1846 and it was the second in the county. The collegiate school was private and it was started in 1873. 
1881, the first public school was started, and by 19, 1892, Jacksonville had a public school system. Longmore's College and Jacksonville College both opened in the 1800s, and the Baptist Theological Seminary was started in 1957. The first newspaper was called the Texan Intelligence in 1873, that was started, and then it was called the Cherokee Argonaut, which was started in 1881. And in 1910, the Jacksonville Daily Progress was published for the first time, and it still is active today. The population of Jacksonville in 1904 was, the, was reported as 1,568 residents, and by the 2000s, the population had grown to 13,868 residents. One of my most favorite historical sites in Jacksonville would have to be the Kilo Monument. This is where the Kilo Massacre occurred. It was it was in 1837, Mr. Isaac Kilo Sr., his four sons, two daughters, and, their, and two single men had settled there. And renegades, uh, the Cherokee Indians, in fact, were decided that they would start a massacre and, and kill, they ended up killing 18 members of the uh, Kilo family. Uh, to this day, you can still go out there they have, uh, they had erected a stone um, monument in the shape of a pyramid, and when the bodies were found, they decided to place tombstones there in memory of them. And that is my hometown, Jacksonville, Texas.